Hi, I'm Dian Yang. I'm a postdoc in the Weissman lab. I work on tumor evolution, try to use this lineage tracing technology to understand how tumor evolves from one single cell to final stage like aggressive tumor. We engineer cancer cells with the lineage tracing machinery and follow their metastatic behavior. So we try to understand how metastasis happened and we can track how these cells like leave the primary site and go to different tissues, what's the kinetics and what's the roots of this process. Understanding how tumor evolves from this early stage to this late aggressive stage will help us to develop better therapies to treat cancer. The mutation gives tumor certain features and these features help them to adapt to the environment better than the other cells. That's why over time, these cells will expand more than, the, than their neighbors. Over the past few years, the Weissman lab have pioneered this lineage tracing technology which take advantage of the CRISPR-Cas9 technology. When Cas9 binds our guide RNA, it can recognize this site and cut this site. It leaves a permanent insertion or deletion which can serve as a barcode because it's like a scar in the genome. We purposely choose a site that when you, you cut many different times, it generates a diverse type of alleles. In order to trace and label many cells, we need a diversity of barcodes. We integrate many different copies of the target site. Theoretically, based on our calculation, with about 13 target sites in engineered into the genome, we can uniquely mark almost every single cell in the human body. And these cells will further divide, and their delta cells will inherit all the marks from their parental cells. This is basically when there's no cutting, you get a very intact, a nice peak of the same size. And when there's cutting, you can see, you start seeing this smaller size of peaks. Over generations, we can, based on the accumulated pattern, of these insertion and deletions, we can relate these cells back to the very uh, parental stage and understand how all the cells, in the end, at the end of the experiment, we harvest all the cells based on these indel patterns. We can, we can identify how they're related to the parental cells. Linear tracing technology can not only be used for understanding disease progression, like in this case, the tumor evolution, but it can also be used for any normal development. For example, how you derive from a fertilized egg to a whole animal, how different tissue types, how different cell types within each tissue are related to each other.